Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots. I'm Stupendous. We are going to take a look at the builds that you guys requested. So these are the most requested builds that I got um, after our last video about the Exodus and about the Spark. So this is what you guys wanted to see. So you wanted to see a Boa with the Exodus and Orkins. You wanted to see a Raijin with Exodus. You wanted to see a Galahad. Also a Hover. That, that one was also very requested. We'll be running that, just not in this video. Um, so we got a Galahad with, the, um, with those. We got a Golem. And then we've also got a Natty with Embers and with the um, with the Sparks. So then you can lead your target with the Ember, but your Sparks will still be hitting them as long as you have your target lock on. You don't have to compensate for that. So kind of, kind of a nice toss-up there, uh, or, or a nice combination there, I guess. So that's what we're going to be starting with today. And remember, this is on this is on uh, Pixonic's press account that they let me play on. So this is not my account. This is not my stuff. I'm not some rich boy that has access to all this stuff. I am a very poor boy, in fact. <laughs> but uh, they let me use the stuff. So this is all Max Mark II stuff, um, that kind of thing. But using, I guess, these more random bots in Champion League. Let's go and we'll drop into two rounds. We'll see what we can do. We got him. What do you think? Do you think the campers got higher damage or did I get higher damage? I only took out like three dudes, so I don't know. I guess we'll see. Not too bad. Not too bad for an all camping boring round, but you know what? We were able to dance together. We got some good footage for, you know, the intro and everything. So, bueno stuff. Let's jump right into another round. Um, I don't know how long matchmaking will take. It always says like average wait time 16 seconds, and then it takes mine like a minute and a half. And I'm like, my internet's amazing. So, that's not the case. <laughs> or, you know, that that's not what's making it do it. But, anyway, I guess we'll see. Um,. But yeah, I guess I guess uh, more thoughts on the Exodus. Um, my favorite builds that I've run it on so far. Um, I, I like running it on the Carnage. The thing is, though, the Carnage is just so squishy. Like half a shot train like takes it out basically. Um, and that's not my favorite. Um, so since we're running Dom, I'm actually gonna drop into um, this Raijin. I'm gonna try to lock down this area over here. Um, it's just gonna take me a minute to get there, and this is the the best time in the game to be able to move this slow hulking thing over that direction so um let's give that a shot see if we can do it we got something moving in fast here it's probably a kamiho if i was a betting man yep looks like a kamiho with scourges so that's good for us too because he can't do anything to us once we have our shield up here we go this guy doesn't even know it's about to hit him <laughs> oh goodbye sir Goodbye. I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here and hang out with Juggernaut. Um, looks like he's he's moving like a pink flamingo, so he's probably running uh, shock trains on there, trying to stay away from my my team so that I don't get hit by those. And uh, luckily, I, I I thought for sure that was gonna bounce off of that guy and hit me. <laughs> oh no. This thing has so much health right now. <laughs> this is like the healthiest bot ever. Crazy. I just got hit by a full salvo. Still alive to tell the tale. Come on, move in, man. <laughs> nice. So remember, with your Raijin, you get a 30% damage bonus when you uh, go into Bastion mode. So use that when you need to, but also don't get stuck somewhere where it's just going to damage your shield and damage you unnecessarily. Uh, let's see, that hover is not really moving this way. Oh, well that, uh, that high chi sure is going to be able to take us out. <laughs> so let's let's move over here. Let's see if we can help lock down this area. We're not going to be able, I mean, one blast from that high chi and I'm done. So 
But yeah, let's let's move over here and see what we can do. We need another beacon. Really, no reason why. It, it looks like my team is moving up right now, but there's not tons of enemy pressure down here, so I'm, I'm surprised that we actually don't have these beacons yet. There we go. All right, so that guy should be about gone. Um, unfortunately, we got a Haichi right here. <laughs> Luckily, he's shooting at that Bulga. So that worked out real nice. Worked out real nicely for us now, you hear? Let's see if we can finish him off. Nice. Yeah, so these are doing like... So every time we have a pair of rockets going, we're doing like 11,000 damage. <laughs> Since they're Max Mark II, which is pretty crazy. I'm just making sure my gross spider legs aren't getting in the way of somebody. Oh no! <laughs> we, weren't, we weren't able to do anything against that ember. So we, we did the Raijin, let's drop into the golem now. But anyway, so the one of the things that I always push when when I'm talking about component items, for the, especially for those of you who are newer to the channel, we've had a lot of newer subscribers lately because Pixonic, like, they took one of my videos and they promoted it on their in their uh, news section, which was awesome. <laughs> but a lot of new subscribers recently, so uh, for those of you who are new, um, I always recommend that people work towards component weapons prior to working towards component bots because component weapons you can use on any of the things that you currently are running in the game. Um, the bots, like, you got to level it up for and then you, get, you have to make sure you have weapons for it and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I, I think you're going to have the best luck because it, it breathes new life into the old content. Like, even this, even this golem, when you add, you know, one of these, these potent component weapons on here, um, can do really well. Like, especially if you have it level, like, well-leveled and everything, um, it can perform really, really well. So I'm just uh, <laughs> watching my six, making sure I know what's going on around here. <laughs> Finish off this uh, this Lancelot here. This guy's almost dead. We're able to take the beacon. We have that guy who's almost gone. Should be able to finish him off really fast. Just got to wait and see what else is coming in. Okay, so it looks like we've got an Inquisitor. And I should be just the right height to be able to shoot him and finish him off. There we go. Oh, and then that Haichi was able to sneak up on us, but... <laughs> No, we've we've done we've done our duty. <laughs> we've done pretty solidly with this golem. I feel like you've lived a, a good life. You lived a good life, my friend. All right, I guess let's drop into the Galahad here. So, and and for this one, I'll I'll probably do let's do a third round just so that we can use this Natasha a little bit. This round's going really quick, and the other one's going really slow. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do with that first round. I mean, maybe you guys don't. You're like, what first round? So maybe I deleted it. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but uh, yeah, let's let's move up here. We'll see if we can take this guy out. We're not going to be able to. I, I need to move up on him. We're taking more unnecessary damage. Uh, well, there's there's the round. <laughs> I was going to move up on him, so strategically it was smarter to move in faster, so that he has less time to do damage to my shield before I can get up in his face and do insane damage with my sparks and scourges. So anyway, so pretty solid round uh, by my team. Kind of, kind of a quick one though, so I guess let's drop into another one and we'll see what we can do. Hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer and hopefully we don't get Springfield or Yam. If we do, maybe I'll drop out and stuff, but I'll bring you guys back when we drop in. All right, so it looks like we're dropping in on a TDM on the moon. So th this, should be, this should be interesting. <laughs> uh, we're probably gonna get Shock Train and Hydra to death. I would imagine, but um, I guess we'll, we'll see what we can do. So my plan is to move in. Um, we're we're going to move in with this boa. I'll see if we can help pressure this guy over here. Typically on this map, you get most people dropping in over on the on your um, on that side over there. So that's probably where most of their team is going to go. I guess we'll see though. They still have three players that can drop in. But uh, typically what happens is you get all the shock trains lining up over here, and that's that's where they camp out for most of the round, either on the hill or over there. So I'm not sure what this is, and I would like... Okay, it looks like I've got a teammate ready to move in with me, so since he's good to go... Oh, never mind, we just had a griff drop in. So since that griff dropped in, I'll just uh, spray some rockets that way. <laughs> With the combined fire of my team, that actually did quite a bit to him. He's just about down. Whoops, just realized I was firing again. <laughs> so it's a little weird playing. I've got all these wires sticking out of my phone to connect the game audio and the screen to my computer. <laughs> so 
Makes it a little weird. This guy's coming up right here. He probably thinks most people are focusing the hill. Okay, and I'm going to be the right height to be able to hit him, just kind of like we did in the Golem. Um, so I should be able to hit him with my rocket still, even though he's cloaked. There we go. So I was, I was trying just to fire one weapon so that I, I wasn't left uh, clipless. Dang it. <laughs> I should have backed off a little bit earlier. Have my team help me out. This is fun. We've actually got a bunch of brawlers on my team. Usually, <laughs> usually I get stuck on the moon map and it's like nothing but uh, people camping out. So this is great. This is what I'm talking about, man. Um, let's see. Best place to go. I probably should have actually dropped in on the other side of the map. Best place to go with the Raijin is uh, probably going to be in this hallway over here. And then you can cover two directions. But we might be able to make use of it here. It's just the thing is I'm going to be exposed um, to this sight line right here for too long. Um, longer than I want to be anyway. <laughs> that guy's probably like, whoa, what was that Raijin running? He's got some strong tridents. <laughs> um, Alright, so this guy... Bro? Get those off him. Check this out. See if we can finish him off <laughs> before he can think. Nice. Alright, and this guy, I don't think he sees us. Oh, but he's backing off. We might be able to go into sentry mode and get a little more height here. There we go. Let's see if we can finish him off before he knows. Yep. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we were able to finish him off. <laughs> he didn't even know what was going on. I love it. Love it, love it. So have you guys play been playing Skirmish at all? I don't know if you guys saw, but if you... So if you click on the link in the description for the Stupendous Family Facebook page, there's a, there's a screenshot of a round I had on Skirmish last night. It ended up being like a 1.4 million damage round here on the moon map. Um, and I believe it was a TDM. Um, but yeah, it was, it was crazy. Like... <laughs> Being able to put out um, the numbers like that, even with, um, you know, even with like level 10 stuff and everything. So I was, I, I thought it was cool. It, I wish I had been recording, but unfortunately I was not. Oh, nice. He's almost gone. Gone like Donkey Kong. Oh, I'm getting fired upon from over here. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't even know. Okay, that guy can still hit me with his aphids, so we need to be careful about him. He's actually moving in right now. I'm probably about to get nailed, so just just to be safe, we'll, we'll put that up. Oh man, I'm about to get taken out too. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention. I should have already turned so that I could have um, addressed that guy over there. So I'm going to drop in on the gal with the gal hat on this side, and the reason I'm doing it on this side of the map, um, there actually is a reason. So all of his hard points are on the right side. And you have a lot more cover to work with with your enemy that will be on your left. So I should be able to reach around the corner a little bit easier on this side of the map rather than on the other side. What will be unfortunate is if this guy is in a... Um, yeah, it looks like he is. He's in an orc in Haichi. So he'll probably just being able... He'll probably be able to take me out just playing peekaboo. There we go. Luckily he didn't lead me enough to be able to deal significant damage. Um, let's see, let's see if we can lead him this way a little bit, and I can maybe get out of his range. I mean, he'll be able to dash in here pretty quickly, but, um, one-on-one <laughs> -on -one with that guy, I'm going to get taken out pretty easy by, by an intelligent player. Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have dumped my clip. I was, I was working on dumping my clip so that I could, so that I could pressure him. Hopefully he's not able to catch up to us. Looks like he is actually, no. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, the Galahad, even even Max Mark II, it, it has so little health in Champion League. It's it's basically like a Max Mark II light robot. Um, it doesn't do well anymore. I wish they would address it. It's really unfortunate because it used to be such a big part of the game, and now it just kind of sucks. Like, I, I wish they would do something about the Galahad, you know? Who else is with me? It used to be my favorite bot. You guys, uh, especially the super peeps who've been around for a while, you guys know that. Galahad used to be my favorite. I used to wreck with that thing, man. Like, even before it was, like, even before, like, a lot of people were wrecking with it, um, I just, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, I, I had a really good time with the Galahad. Should have uh, had those rockets a little bit closer to that guy. It was pretty bad shooting. Um, okay, so that guy's about done. That guy's got noob trains. Just trying to make sure I'm not next to teammates that are going to get hit if I move in to address this Bulgasari. 
So let's see if we can tempt him to pop up with his with his new trains there. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to. What? Where'd you come from, man? Oh, dang it. Here goes our golem. <laughs> that kills us. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But anyway, so, I mean, and for those of you who are new to the channel, too, my goal here isn't to record, like, the best possible rounds for you guys. Like, so, uh, you know, I, I obviously play the best that I can when I, you know, when I am playing. I'm not trying to, like, play poorly. Um, but my goal isn't to, like, record 100 rounds and, you know, show you guys, like, a like three of the ones that ended up being like amazing because that's not like very realistic as far as what to expect out of these bots and weapons so my goal is to take you through like some regular rounds of this stuff so that you can have uh, very clear expectations on what to um you know what you would be seeing if you start running this kind of thing so that, that's why we do it this way that's why i like doing uh, just a few live recordings like right in a row um, i find that we get a more accurate picture of what these are actually going to perform like, what these are actually going to do um, for you guys when you're using them. And obviously your stuff's not Max Mark 2, but I'm playing in Champion League. Like When I'm playing on my Stupendous account, I'm usually at a pretty big disadvantage because everyone else has Max Mark 2 stuff. <laughs> so this press account is kind of nice because that advantage, um, like it, it levels the playing field a little bit. Not everyone I play against you know, has that. Um, not all of Champion League is like that, but it's very, very common to see a lot of Max Mark II stuff out there. So this is my last bot. I'm about to get taken out. Um, these guys, oh yeah, I was going to say, they have me pinned down, so I'm sure I'm about to get jumped on. <laughs> but anyway, so <laughs> there's your first look um, at, uh, at some older robots running the Exodus. Um, I feel like we probably performed pretty well in that round. We could have done a little bit better, like, you know, playing cat and mouse a little bit, but um, yeah, so I mean, like, like I said, my gameplay is not perfect, and <laughs> my intention is not to show you perfect gameplay. I've never said and never will say that I'm the best player out there because I'm far from it. Um, I just like to come and hang out with you guys and I like to share what I have. Um, I like to learn things and I like to teach them. So um, that, that's the biggest things that I like to do here. So um, builds that we have coming up. So things that I'll probably be recording for uh, tonight and tomorrow. Um, we'll probably do the some more like I, I'd like to do a highlight on the Carnage with the Exodus because uh, the Carnage was one of my favorite bots back in the day. Like before the Camelot bots came out, the Carnage was my favorite bot. Um, for those of you who've been around on the channel for a while, you know that. They had a Carnage Thunder tutorial that got pretty popular back in the day. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to be pretty effective with it. And I, I wanna see if we can, um, if I can polish up on it and run it like it should be run. And then I'll share like the best of and maybe do like a montage for you guys of uh, what the Carnage with Exodus on it, um, a Mark II 12 Carnage with Mark II 12 Exodus on it is capable of in Champion League. Then you can know, like, okay, should I be selling this stuff for silver for like upgrades? You know, should I just get rid of my Carnage, or should I keep it and you know and run it and everything? Because that Carnage is, it, they're they're cheap. You know what I mean? And you don't have to spend money or, or months on components or whatever uh, trying to acquire it. So, um, but yeah, so the Carnage is is one of the big ones coming up. And then there's uh, the hover with the scourge and the spark on top. Um, that one's been fun. I've, I've actually, <laughs> I, I had like a 900,000 damage round with just that bot on Valley uh, last night. It wasn't recording, I was just playing for fun just to, just to get used to it because I actually have never run the hover with scourges. So I was just getting used to it so that we could talk about it. Um, because I know a lot of people do run it and the scourges are kind of OP and stuff. So <laughs> I figured with the spark it'd make a pretty good combo. So. We'll be talking about that in the future, but yeah, anything else that you guys want to see, make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know what it is, and I'll prioritize those by um, number of requests. So um, the most requested things, those are the things that we will get to first. We got <laughs> we got three guys with over 1.1 million on the other side there. That's pretty big. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so let me know what you guys would like to see with this stuff. Um, I also have the Bulwarks and the Falcons that we can work with and do some stuff with. Um, but I thought maybe first we would take a look at just adding, a, you know, the Exodus, which will probably be able to be acquired faster than the robots. I'm um, putting an Exodus on stuff that you already have. So let me know what you have. Let me know what you'd like to see the Exodus on, and we'll run it. So we'll do the, you know, we'll do the Lancelot, whatever, whatever you guys want. Drop a comment below. Anyway, you guys are amazing. I love you. Thank for being. Thank you very much for being a part of this community. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.